A new TV station has gone on air in London, aiming to give a platform to the voices of those in opposition to the current leadership of Iran. This comes just over a week after 19 state-run Iranian TV and radio stations, including the English-language press TV, were banned in the EU. Artie's Polly Boyker has more. Today in London, we witnessed the launch of a brand new and very different Iranian news channel. This studio belongs to Raha TV. Now from Farsi, Raha translates to freedom, and that could give an indication of the political agenda behind the new TV station. In fact, its founder is so vehemently opposed to the current government that he says that he wants to help the Iranian people decapitate the current regime. He denies having any financial backing or any seal of approval from international organizations or Western governments. I cannot believe that the British government will back a dictatorial regime, how they can be against a TV for the change of dictatorship. As I see, they want to put this regime by in, on the knees. In fact, it's the very emergence of a new oppositional Iranian television channel in Britain teamed with the involuntary departure of press TV from the UK that's led some to question whether the Brits, with all their love of trumpeting free speech and balance, are doing so very selectively. Obviously, Britain banned press TV very early on, the first country in the world to ban an Iranian uh, television news channel. They're only too glad to welcome a propaganda channel run by, as it were, the one percenters. Uh, no one in Iran, even those opposed to Ahmadinejad, even those opposed presumably to an Islamic theocracy in Iran, uh, would support this outfit. Raha TV's founders say that they're inspired by events like the Arab Spring and television channels like Al Jazeera and Al Arabia. In fact, they say that unlike in Libya and Afghanistan, they want to promote political change from within. And it looks like, perhaps because of their oppositional political agenda, nobody here is stopping them. Polly Boyko, RT, London.